Charmed Season 2 Thoughts. Before I get into any specific episodes, I should deal with the appearance of a certain character, Dan. I imagine people have different opinions on him. I hate his guts. Okay, maybe I'm just a hopeless romantic, but I wanted just Leo and Piper together, you know, and then Dan comes along. It might also be because he's so bland. Most of the time, he's just so perfect. You know, he's boring. With Leo, there are instances where he bursts out in anger. You know, there are times when he says no to Piper. With Dan, it's like, okay, if, you know, we, we could spend this weekend together or not, if you can't, and it's okay either way. He's just, he's so boring. He is like a piece of wood or something. So yeah, I wasn't particularly unhappy about the resolution at the end of this season. I do like the portion where he starts to be a bit more aggressive and talking about how Leo isn't who he appears to be because there was some investigation done and yeah, Leo died in World War II and he's apparently twice as old as he's supposed to be. Yeah. This season sees the return already of Barbas, the Demon of Fear. And it's a quite good return. You know, there are some new fears for him to exploit and yeah, the turning Prue against her sisters you know, killing two birds with one stone, as it were, and as he himself puts it, with having her kill the other two, which is her greatest fear, which will kill her, yeah. Not bad, Barbus, not bad. And that also introduces the character of Bane Jessup, the suave criminal who appears a few episodes later and seduces Prue by kidnapping her and then proving that he's not all bad. It's a slightly strange episode, but it is kind of funny also. It's also the one where Piper needs a sign of who to choose, you know, Dan or Leo, and all the signs seem to, you know, every other says yeah, it's about half and half of who the signs point to. And then they realize that the signs have all been pointing towards Prue, which is what they wanted, or what they needed, anyway. We get the episode Chick Flick with the first appearance of Phoebe's favorite film, Kill It Before It Dies, with Billy in black and white, who helps defeat the movie monsters. The very end of the season is slightly odd. I always wondered why Apocalypse Not is not the season finale. Because it's the four horsemen of the apocalypse defeated. It's kind of a big deal. And then the actual season finale Granted, Prue dies, but really, it's just a, de a genie and a dragon demon or something like that. Not quite as strong to go out on as, yeah, other seasons, certainly. But all in all, a good, fun season, except for the parts of Dan.